Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I will show you the Power BI DAX function sum. So Power BI DAX function sum is helpful in creating the totals for your visualization. And for example, we have a scenario over here where we have the product subcategory and their related custom fields like what is the order count, what is the order row count, what are the just the corporate orders out of this total count is something what we have created earlier. Now we want to have a totally unrelated field as a total which is total sales. So in scenarios like this where you want to create the custom totals in, in, in a table based on your business need because business wants to see the different measures whether related or not related altogether into a one single table. So how you can create it is by using the tax function. And before I move ahead, just a quick information that uh, all the videos of Power BI and uh, Power BI is, is present in the description in, as a link. And uh, you can access all of the Power BI video. You can jump directly to that because along with the video title link is present. Also, uh, if you want to access all of my video of my uh, channel, then a Google Data Studio report is present where which is an interactive report there you can filter either the Python or the Tableau or any video and get the access. All right. So let's now let's move ahead to how we can create the Power BI text function sum. All right. So what do we have is basically new measure over here. So we are under home and the new measure if I click over here it will give me a screen or this formula bar which will allow me to add the total. So first thing is we need to provide the sum, uh, the name of the measure. So what we will do is total underscore sales, right? So here we can clearly see whenever we are looking up any measure which will be present over here. So Another thing is measure will always be present with this sort of a calculator sign so that you can clearly see uh, what is a measure or a custom measure as compared to what is a normal measure which is sigma. So sigma is the sign of a measure which you have imported via the script or via the data using the Power BI script. Alright so total underscore sales and I will use a very simple sum function as you can see sum. What it does is it adds all the numbers in a column. So I press tab and it will open the parenthesis as soon as I enter the tab. And what I need to start writing is basically the sales. And as I enter SAL, the IntelliSense has given me the name of the field and I will press tab to get the field and close this. So once I close this, I need to check the sign, which is this one. I clicked over here and now the total sales is created and it should reflect over here. If I go down because it is sorted alphabetically. So after S you get T and that's why total sales is coming over here. Now what we will do is we will add it over here. So with this, I just add it over here, right? So now along with the other tables that I am having uh, like for example order count, the order rows count, the corporate orders. If my business user is uh, trying to see what are the total so sales that we have got then we can use this sum function and along with the other measures which is custom in nature I am getting the custom total sales as well for my end user and if I apply any filter for example, the consumer, the values will be updated accordingly or corporate, the value is changed, the home office, sorry, I'll just click on home office, then the value will change. So this is one scenario in which you can use. Another scenario can be, uh, for example, if you want to have, uh, want to create a new column altogether. Right. So in that case also, uh, so for example, here, let's say, just assume that you have one column, uh, which is present over here and another is, let's say the total sales, then you want to divide those column, multiply those column in that scenario. Also, 
you can basically utilize this total sales as well also when you will create the kpi uh, from here so for example this one the card uh, and you add this field total sales right you just get the 429.65 as total sales and i recommend that instead of using this sales which will produce the similar result you use the total sales right why because whenever if a change is required in the future let's say you have used total sales at 10 different places right then if you are just using this sales you will have to replace it at 10 different places or in 10 different visualization but if you are making any change if you are using this uh, total sales which is a custom field in which you can apply any calculation or anything you will just have to change the formula for this and all the changes will be reflected everywhere so think it more like a variable that you are using at multiple places so that you don't have to do that work for 10 different location and in just one location you will be done with your uh, with your with your change so that will be an optimized performance for you also in future if you want to let's say rename this you can come back here and you have the option of renaming you have the option of hiding or you have uh, option here again to create a new measure which is totally unrelated but this is something what you can basically apply when you are doing it also if you want to edit it let's say tomorrow if you want to go ahead and apply some changes like i was suggesting so you will just click it over here and the formula will be coming over here and let's say you just want to apply the 20% discount so you will do multiply 0.2 or yeah 0.2 then this will be changed accordingly all right so something is i'm messing up but basically the idea is that you will going to change the formula which is coming over here uh, by either adding more values multiplying it or or dividing it so that way you will going to get the total sales for here and similarly as an exercise what you can do uh, so data access or the data set is present over here within the description you can get it and what you can do is you can create two different measure one is the profit the total profit that you are having on the given uh, for the given subcategory so along with total sales you are going to have the total profit and then what you can do is you can also get let's say the quantity the total quantity that you are having so now i have created sales but as an exercise what you do create total profit and create total quantity and will our table will be completed so that's about it uh, what i wanted to show you about the power bi dax function sum and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic